Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. So I picked this one up, a 1949 Mercury. And it's got the green with the yellow flames on it. It's got the white wall tires. It's got the white two-tone, white and green. Oh yeah. So, you know I like the flames. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a green background. We're going to have a couple of, uh, it's a light green. It's actually the pearlized golden green by Master's Touch. I love that color. It's metallic. I just, I'm, I've never been a real big green fan, but here lately I've done some green pieces and they turned out just amazing and I'm really liking them. So I want to do another one. So I've already got the, this pearlized golden green down on the canvas. And I've made my marks, you'll see them here in a little bit, like I do with all my metallic paints, to leave that those marks in there. Gives a little texture with, look without actually getting some texture in it. So I decided I was going to do two more greens. So I got a fluorescent green by Master's Touch. And then a phthalo green also by Master's Touch. I'm pretty much out of that. Let me get some more of that. And then I'm going to use some yellow, which I've already got mixed up, but it's Artist Loft Yellow. And I'm going to use some white, which is, I've already got mixed up in here too, and it's Artist Loft White as well. So, we're just going to go, I'm going to, it does have yellow flames. The reason I'm adding the yellow into it is to, the green and yellow goes pretty well together. And, uh, I don't know if I'll do a flame effect or not, it depends on how the, how it, um, gets blown out what it looks like if it needs something if it doesn't need anything because a couple of the other green ones I did I did just like the the effect I had out the back and it wasn't the flame look and then I'm adding the white to, to kind of uh, lighten up some of the darker green that's going to be in there as well so all I gotta do is adjust the camera and we can get started all right as you can see we have the green down got my lines in it I got the the car out of the package i tell you what i don't like these i like these m2 cars but i don't like how they package them they screw them in to the to the base and i it's a really small screw so you have to have a tiny screwdriver phillips head and i got one out and i couldn't get the other one out i had finally had to go out and get the drill and find a phillips head small enough that would fit into that thing and i finally got it done but really tearing up my hand because I got a real small screwdriver but it doesn't have a, a real thick handle on it like a normal screwdriver because it's more of a set of small individual ones anyway <laughs> so
paint on this car. Sorry. Just do the fire effect on the yellow. It. I like it. All right, this one has dried. I've got seven ounces of resin. It's a ten by twenty canvas. Actually doing resining two pieces at once so I've already dumped out I did 14 ounces total I've dumped seven out but previously to this one so let me get this one spread real fast so usually if you Hurry is usually where you make mistakes, is when you start to hurry. Uh, let's try and get some of this on here. I think I got more resin on this one than the other one. So we'll just take up a little bit, bring it over there. It's that simple. All right, now I can finish this one.
Hmm, there's just a little something in there. I don't know what it is. Well, we want to get it out of there. I think we got this one done. So we have our car here. I think we're gonna put it right in there like that. Maybe back just a little bit. There we go. That side. All right. There we go. Hmm. I like that car on there. All right. <clears throat> Hit the like button if you like this one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.